Hello, my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March weekly reading. Now this reading is going to go from the 21st through the 27th. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Virgos, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves. Ooh, if I can keep them in my hands. All right, my loves, let's see what's going on for you guys. Now, I know you guys may not be able to see these as I lay them out, but no worries. I will hold them up and show them to you as we go over them. I am just trying to keep some space for your person's energy as well. All right, we got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I like to see that. In your headspace, we have the Seven of Cups and the Devil in the reverse. Hmm. A lot of confusion on how to move through some um, difficult energies, okay? Um, whether it's some toxicity, whether it's some bad habits, whether it's some, you know, just really toxic fighting or arguing or whatever that looks like for you. Um, you know, this you know, toxic negative kind of energy is whatever that is. Um, there's a lot of confusion on um, how to move through that with that seven of cups. I feel like you want to. I feel like you're ready to take some kind of action. Yeah, I get the king of wands and the knight, the knight of wands too. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to take action. You know what you want. Um, I feel like there's just some confusion on like how to move through those energies and if it's something that can be moved through, worked through, released. You have the temperance in the reverse and the hermit card. Um, I do feel like in your heart space you're trying to see things from a higher perspective. I feel like you are trying to, how do I put it, um, you know, find some peace within the situation. But I feel like you could be getting frustrated and losing a little bit of patience as well. Especially if your person is the one that has like the... Um, you know, if that's where the toxic stuff is coming from, you know, I feel like if they're supposed to be working on something, you know, I do feel like it's very frustrating for you, um, you know, if they're not doing what they say they're going to be doing or they're not, you know, they're not working on things the way that they said they're going to. Uh, it feels like a very frustrated energy. I feel like you're losing your patience with it. You just want some peace within the situation, but you don't know how to how to obtain it. And when it especially when it seems like you're the one who's, you know, really putting the work in um, and they're the ones that really need to be. So we have the seven of pentacles here with the strength card in the reverse. Yeah, I do feel like you've been doing a lot of overanalyzing the situation. I feel like you've invested a lot into this and I feel like you're getting frustrated with that. The seven of pentacles in, can be a card of overanalyzing. It can be a card of, you know, um, putting the work in to invest. Um, the strength card in reverse, I feel like you don't have it in you anymore. Okay, that's what it feels like. I don't have it in me to continue to invest into this by myself or to continue to be the only one to put the work into this. I don't have it in me to continue to deal with all this toxic stuff. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just kind of how it feels. Um, I feel like some of you guys could be making a decision to no longer hold that information back either to really communicate it with that person. Um, you know, like this is this is where I'm at. The five of pentacles and the six of cups here for your action. Some of you guys could be leaving something behind, okay? Some of you guys are leaving something behind and I feel like it's very upsetting for you to do that. Um, especially because I feel like specifically some of you guys could be, especially if you live together, um, you guys could be kicking somebody out. Okay, and it doesn't have to be that way for this to resonate for you, but I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are making a decision. The action you're taking is the Five of Pentacles to leave something behind. And you can see there's this is the vice versa deck, so there's two different sides to it. On um, the side that you have is still inside. The other side is outside. I don't think that you are the one who is, um, you know, being left. I feel like you're the one that's doing the leaving. Now keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So when I put your person's energy out on the table, if you resonate more with that side, you know, just take it how it resonates. Um, but I feel like it's difficult for you because you have a lot of love for this person. You've had a long history with this person. Um, you do see this person as a soulmate. So I feel like it's very difficult for you um, to do that. But I feel like that's the action that you're taking. 
because you just can't keep doing this, especially by yourself. So let's take a look at what their energy is towards you. Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Virgo? Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Virgo, please? What is their energy towards Virgo? Very clear messages with a very clear understanding. All right, the bottom of the deck, they have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Page of Cups in the reverse. They understand that their lack of action, that they're, they're not doing anything to shift this energy. They're not doing what them supposed, they're supposed to be doing. They understand that it's causing them to lose you. They see that you're slipping away from them here. Um, but I don't see them making the changes that they need to in order to prevent it. They have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys, it could be addiction. Um, they could have like a substance addiction or like a, a drinking addiction, something like that. It doesn't have to be, but that is a message that is coming up um, for some of you guys. They have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So the thing is, is that they know what they need to do in order to keep you um they see you slipping away here but i don't see them doing what they need to i'm just being honest with you four of pentacles in the reverse ten of wands in the reverse i do feel like they they know that you're you're releasing them okay um and i feel like they're choosing to let you because they're they're thinking it's going to be easier for them um to release this than to actually have to release the problem to actually fix the problem to actually work on it we got the king of swords in the reverse and the four of wands the king of swords i would just be cautious with this energy because the king of swords in the reverse can be you know being very deceptive um it can be you know lying it can also be saying you know very cruel cutting things it can be speaking in half truths a little bit manipulative type of an energy as well now the four of wands is reaching a goal a finish line an accomplishment they could have um you know, so that's basically saying they're willing to lie, okay? They are willing to lie to get what they want out of a situation, okay? Especially if you guys live together. They, I would just be careful, okay? I would just be careful because they, there's some nasty energy around that. So, especially if you're kicking them out of the house, okay? Um, because the four of wands can be home as well. But either way, I do feel like they're willing to lie to get what they want out of a situation. So I would be cautious with that energy. I also feel like this person isn't sure, um, you know, where they're going from here. They have the knight or the nine of swords in the reverse and the three of swords in the reverse for their true intentions. I don't feel like they, I do feel like on a deeper part of them, the part of them, um, you know, that does love you and isn't affected by whatever this toxic energy is, you know, on that part of them, there is a part of them that doesn't want to hurt you anymore. Um, there's a part of them that hopes that you can forgive them one day, um, and wants to be able to release you from this stress to be able to do that for you. Um, but I feel like that is kind of buried under everything else. It's showing up in their true intentions, you know, but not for their thoughts, not for their heart space, and not even for their actions. You know, the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands for their action. This can also be home, you know, this, so they could be blocking out family. They could be pushing people away at this time. It's kind of what this feels like to me. Um, I feel like this person is, they definitely are dealing with some toxic energies here, whether it's addiction, drinking, whatever it is. I feel like they could have family that's trying to help them or people, you, other people, families, institutions, even things that are trying to help them. And I feel like they're just pushing them away um, because they're not ready for the help yet. They see, they know what they would need to do here. Um, and they're, they're choosing to let themselves lose everything. Um, and I do feel like a part of them almost does kind of feel like it'll be easier on you to not have to deal with it anymore. But at the same time, I would be very careful because it's like on a deeper part of them, they know that it's better for you and they don't want to hurt you anymore. But 
that, like I said, is buried very, very underneath all of this other stuff. I could see them being very cruel and nasty with this energy, so just be very cautious, okay? Um, but that is kind of what I'm seeing. Now, keep in mind, guys, that these are just weekly energies, okay? So these are not permanent outcomes. This is just where the energy lies for this week, um, but that is what I see. So if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.